So we're changing the hydraulic oil in this International 826. We're having trouble with it getting, when it's cold, it doesn't want to steer or have brakes or the TA. So we're going to put high trans in it. And we're going to, uh, that right now it had some other branded oil. That was a little bit cheaper and it's been a while since it's been changed. Obviously you can see it's kind of milky. So we're gonna change the hydraulic filter and change the oil. Okay, so we did, We there's two drain plugs and we're draining one out of the bottom of the MCV and then uh, the intermediate area there. Try to get as much oil out as we can. But right here is the cover where the hydraulic filter is under. So we scraped off all the, the dirt here around it and then we'll pop that cover off and the hydraulic filter will be under there. All right, so we pulled the cover off here. Right here's what it looked like. There's some trash in there, and there's definitely some trash on the screen, so I'm thinking that it was probably a filter that we needed. So here's the here's the filter, hydro, hydraulic filter that's gonna go in there. And so the screen goes on the front like this, like that, and then this cover which was on the back of the filter goes on just like that so it slides on just like that so we'll get everything cleaned up good clean that screen off and then we'll put her back together there is a uh, 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 gasket on there and that's in good shape otherwise I would recommend replacing that there's also a gasket on the back side of this bracket that goes on the back side of the filter so make sure that's in good shape before you put her back together Okay, so we got the screen cleared off. Just use a little bit of carb cleaner. Let that dry out good. Got this cleaned up good. And inside of the actual filter housing cleaned up. So we slide. So we set this on just like that. I'll go on the back side. And then this sits in here just like that. Fits in there pretty snug. And then the... Uh, uh, this goes towards this bracket so like it'll go like that all right so i just started a couple bolts and got them in not tight at all but it that cover is kind of spring loaded because of that uh, screen cover has got a little spring on it so we'll get a couple of them in there and get the rest of them started and snug them all down okay there's also three drain plugs across the back one for each final drive and then one in the middle so we're draining the oil out of those as well uh, you can't really see probably but it's up under there okay so here's one side that we drained out here's the other side and then the other one the third one is up underneath the the drawbar which we took out and put back in there's only one bolt to loosen up and then that pin drops out to get the hitch the drawbar out okay so we got the funnel set in there to put the high trans in and we got five five gallon jugs of high trans at 400 bucks so we got those we're gonna start dumping them in it takes about 20 gallons or 25 between 20 and 25 gallons i think it's tw actually 22 but we're gonna overfill it a little bit We'll check it after we put probably 15 gallons in. Okay, so the tools you'll need for this project are a 3 8 ratchet, a half inch ratchet, a 9 16 socket, a 25 gallons of high trans, or it actually takes 22 gallons, and then some shop towels as well as the hydraulic filter for your tractor.